In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to filter data inside of your tables based on your URL parameters. So here in our search, I'm going to start typing something, org for example, and instantly we are getting that parameter inside of our URL. And same thing with our total items. So if I put five, we are getting total items equals five. And then here in our pagination, we can go to our next page and we are getting page equals two. Then we can go to the next one. And all these parameters are compatible and we are not losing any of them while going to another page or searching for something else. As always, you have all this code available on my public GitHub repository, Orkish Full Stack Admin. You have the link in the description below. You may be already seen this project on my channel, so these filters are going to be an additional upgrade to already existing Orkish Full Stack Admin. And if you want to check the creation of this whole project, you can check this link above. What we have here currently on our Orkish full stack admin is this data table full of users and we already have some search so we can type in here org for example and click search and we are getting our search param inside the URL but currently it's not written in a good way. Why? Because when we click for example pagination, the second page we are losing our search term and we have to click search again in order to search and we are going to refactor this whole part of the project. And let's see what's going on actually on that page. So we are going to our admin slash users page and there we can see that we are using next navigation, use search params. So we are creating a state with our current search and also the page and total items and we are sending it by trpc to our get route where with drizzle we are filtering out the data and that one is okay-ish to say it like that it's a little bit hard to control search parameters from next.js because you have to check always if you already have some search parameter or not and based on that push new search parameter. So we are doing that here on our button click. We are using the router and we are pushing the path name plus question mark plus handle search, which is a bad way of doing things because we are hard coding everything. And to fix that, we are going to use Nux tool. And that one is pretty awesome. Maybe you've seen it already on my channel and it's used to change your parameters inside the URL and it's totally similar like use state it's just called use query state and we are going to install first that dependency we are adding nux like this and we are just going to refactor quickly the states that we already have and that's for page total items and search and cool thing about nux is that we can parse as integer so here for example for page and total items we have to do things like this in order to tell our application that this one is actually an integer it's not a string because we are sending it as an integer to our backend but like this with nux we can tell instantly that this one is actually integer so now i'm going to import use query state and parse as integer from the Nux library and don't forget you have to use use client for this one because it's a hook and we are going to change our current search from the use state to use query state and that one is going to be called search inside of our URL and default value is going to be an empty string and now it's going to be extremely easy to test it out so here we don't even need this button anymore we can put everything to be live like when we are changing our input to be automatic so here we have our set current search and this one should already work so let's try it out here in our full stack admin we are going to the search and i'm going to type w a r and you can see that it is changing instantly here inside of our URL. So this one is working great. And if we, whoops, if 
we remove that one and for example we put only w like this we need something actually to have two yeah like this and if we go to page number two we are losing our search so we need to set also our pagination to work with nux to do that we need to turn our page and total items also to our query states to nux states so that one should be easy we are just going to, to delete these and we are going to use this parse as integer type of the state inside of our url so this one is going to be page and set page and it's going to be called page inside the url and the second one is going to be total items so it's just like this total items and set total items and it's also going to be called total items inside the url so now we can delete these hello and set hello and we also don't need this handle search we use that one for our button to search for different type of strings and now here we are sending our page and our total items to our users table so what are we going to do we are going to send actually new methods on page change and on total items change in order to change our current state and now inside of our users table we are going to add here our on page change and on total items change and we are going to move them inside of our component and let's see now where are we actually making those links so here if we have our current page and it's bigger than one we are just going to do on click let's like this so we are doing on click on page change and we are doing current page minus one so this is for our previous page let's see what is this thing complaining it needs to be ref okay so we are going to delete pagination previous and we are going to use a simple button to go to our previous page like this and we are going to import this chevron left from lucid react like that and then here on this one we are also going to do the same thing so i'm going to delete the pagination link and i'm going to create a new button like this cursor is already giving me things and here it is and one last thing is pagination next deleting that one and we are putting in another button with chevron right and let's see how is that working so now i'm going here on our page i'm going to refresh to start fresh and let's see so now when we click this one it's going to our page one so that is bad we need to have page one as default so when i click it again it's going to our page two then when i'm returning it's going to page one again awesome and if i click page two again it's working and if i start typing something here for example orc it's working still with page two and if i return back our orc is still there and now we have compatible filters both from pagination and from our search here awesome let's just change this default so this one should be one and not zero and also this one so now let's start again here i'm going to refresh it and this one doesn't look good oh because i, I placed the total items it, that one should be zero so now it is good refreshing and if we go to the next we're going to page two and back we are going to page one so this one is working perfectly awesome now let's put here a small select box with total items so we can change that also and let's delete first what we are not using so we removed a lot of things from our page and now we need the select box so let's check first if we have select we don't have it so we need our shed cn going to google and opening it here components then we are searching for the select and we are going to install this one inside of our project like this 
and let's see if that one is going to work working awesome and now we are going to put here on just next to our input here we are going to put a new select box where we're going to choose for example 5 10 20 40 50 or whatever of total items so let's see how is this select box actually used so we need to import this select here and i'm going to put it here below our input and we need this one to use it so i'm putting it right next to our input here and here we are going to put the select item to be value of let's say five then we are going to put ten like this i'm putting five because that one is easy to test and here it is awesome and now here on our select we are going to put on value change just like this and we are setting our total items as parsed as integer value why is it parsed because here if we put value that one is going to complain because this one is a string so value of our select item is a string and because of that we are parsing it to integer so this nux is already doing its thing so this one we know with this parses integer that our total item state is integer state so now this one should work let's just change this theme to total items like this and let's test it out so here it is and i'm going to refresh just in case and here let's try first five it's working let's try 10 working 20 so this one is working just fine i'm going to the five and then maybe to change the second page awesome it's working although we oh we have one on the third page so this one is working great awesome let's now make it just a little bit nicer than this so let's push this select box to the right side and we're going to do it here so we're going to put justify between and instead of max width we are going to put full width and now this one is on the right side except this input it's too big we're just going to put it inside one div so that one is going to be normal like this and if we want to add more filters we can just add it to this div and this one is on the left side and this select box is always going to be on the right side and let's do one final test if everything is compatible so i'm refreshing the screen users and here we can start typing for example orc and that one is working then we can put total items to five that one is also working and we can go to our next page and to our next page again and everything is compatible and all the filters are working together don't forget to check the code on the github repo you have the link in the description below and for more content like this join the mighty horde subscribe